Well, well, well. I had been looking forward to cutting another one of you down, but it looks like I'll be spared the trouble. Unsurprisingly, Nylock has gone missing. Also, unsurprisingly, Fon has passed his first trial. It's only a matter of time before he tramples you all underfoot. I'll tear you apart where you stand, slave. Patience, Fon. An accident in the tombs is much more convincing. Now the lot of you know your next task. Go. I want to speak to Fon and our latecomer. Now, slave. Zin says you handled yourself expertly, and as much as I find this difficult to believe, Lord Zash is satisfied with his evaluation. Undoubtedly, Zin helped you in some way, but you will not have his help on the next trial. Both you and Fon will have trials of intellect, trials that test your ability to apply your understanding of the Force to solve problems. You don't expect a slave to be a match for me in intellect. I've been trained under the greatest teachers. Calm down, Fon. I certainly do not expect this slave to be a match for you. That's why you will have separate trials. It's okay. I can handle anything Fon can handle. You're only digging your own grave. Fon, you will go to the library on the second floor of the Academy and translate the following texts for Lord Zash. Yes, Overseer. Slave. Deep in the ancient, monster-infested tomb of Marka Ragnos, there is a holocron filled with dark secrets and encased in a great stone monument. No one has figured out how to release the holocron from its stone prison in over a thousand years. You will bring this holocron to me, or you will die. A simple errand. Need anything else in the tomb while I'm down there? You will bring back the Holocron, or hope that the spirit of Marker Ragnos himself returns to end your miserable existence. Now go. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Perhaps calm is necessary. Perhaps a little blood will satiate you. Just open, damn it! You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. Hmm. A fake. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gurr, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. Let Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? You're heartless, Harkon. How can you be so cruel? I am Sith. Something you will never be. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave, stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't you? I don't really think about it one way or the other. I did as I was told. You are lucky Lord Zash finds you useful. Now for your trial. The last, darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead Lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. I will return with the text. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. Out of my sight, slave! Yes. Yes, remarkable. Magnificent. 
You, you slave. What? No, acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? It was actually quite simple. Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb. The Sith lords passing it by. And then the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me, how did you manage it? I shot lightning at it, and it opened. Such a simple solution. Why did none of us think of that? We must have thought too deeply on it, believed too strongly that it could not be done. Or perhaps we were simply not meant to open it. Your work so far, in bringing back this holocron, and now the text from Tulak Hord's tomb, has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. I hope I live up to them. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. I was just about to send Fon off. What delayed you, slave? Sorry, it won't happen again. It's a shame the tomb didn't kill you. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? Of course, Overseer. It is an honor to serve. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the Academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. I understand. I will be careful not to step out of place. You are just as likely to chop your own arm off as not, slave. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. Hello there, friend. You remember my brother and me from downstairs? With Harkon, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. What's happening here? I'm sorry, girl. I liked you. I really did. But Harkon made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. Come on, do we have to do this? I thought we were friends. We don't want to. But we know we can't beat Fon, and we'll never be Sith. At least this way we can go home, alive. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte. Well, well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some Dark Lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fon are the last ones. So, what now? Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called a Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? I think I can do that much. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fon for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fon's already started, so my advice? Run, slave. Run. Um, <clears throat> one moment, please. Lord Zash, what are you doing here? Overseer, are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No, of course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? 
He finished his trial early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this acolyte brought from Tulak Hall's tomb, and it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. What makes you say that? It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? Now, my dear acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Deshard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Nagasado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Deshard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. I'll use caution. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, Acolyte.